Hello there, my name is Angela Durant and I'm a voice and performance coach. Today's really good series of tips for you is based on the four areas of learning through from competence to artistry and how to know where you are, where to put your energies and efforts so that you can make the right choices for you moving forward and not then put your feet in the water of something that isn't right for you or consequently hold yourself back from the next level that you can go to. So let's first of all talk about the first one. So stage one is what I call competence. Now competence is where you just need enough skill in order to do the job in hand. So to be competent at something means that it's, it's believable, it's doable, it works. So for instance, many people are hobby singers or they're just stepping onto to the, the platform for the first time and they may be very, very nervous and their first goal is not to wow the crowd and to be taken up by the agents. The first step is to get competent. Competent, getting up week after week, losing the nerves, overcoming inertia, moving forward, getting things done, writing the songs, putting them out there, um, you know, doing your exercises, seeing transformation work in your voice. That first area of competence is a really big area, actually, because although it's your first stage and maybe your first tiny step onto doing what you can do with your voice and all that's possible, it's actually a real dangerous area. The reason it's a dangerous area is because resistance to your ability for you to unlock your greatest potential, your resistance is going to be the biggest at the beginning and right before your breakthrough. Okay, so if your resistance is, is big at the beginning, this is where even getting to that first stage of competence, you're going to find that it really does affect you. You might find you've got more self-talk, you've got more reasons to walk away, not to move forward, to start something and then to suddenly dip your toe in the water, realize there's some commitment involved or a little bit of practice or you know whatever it is that you need to change a habit of, that you never put time aside for doing anything different, yet you want a different result. Whatever that is in your life, that first stage of getting competent is about consistency. Consistency of showing up time and time again. It is not about mastery at this stage. It's actually about overcoming inertia, overcoming resistance, and knowing that it's going to be greatest. Your self-talk at the beginning is greatest because you're probably going to only shift the dial a little bit and see a few results. It may not be enough results to make you feel as if you've suddenly broken through every barrier in your life and, and moving towards the things that you want to do. And that is the point. You simply want to become what I call um, competent at it and that competent and there's another word um matter of fact that's what i was thinking of matter of fact matter of fact is where we're not making a big drama we're not creating mountains out of molehills we're not going i just couldn't because life got in the way this week well hello you're human life is happening every single day there are uh, distractions bright shiny objects loads of social media going on there is you know work children all sorts of stuff going on traffic on a daily basis that is going to happen but are your dreams going to happen is your voice going to happen is the ability that you've got to press that find me button is that going to happen and the only way that you are ever going to actually really, really find your true voice and be able to do something with it at whatever level you want to do that with is that first place of competence, that first place of getting yourself in the game and, and going for a little bit of momentum. Sure, you're going to find loads of objections. Sure, you're going to find loads of little resistances because I've already told you it's greatest at the beginning and it's greatest before your biggest breakthrough. So there's a choice to make here. The choice is that your habits are gonna drag you back. Your, the reason why your New Year's resolutions haven't worked, they're gonna drag you back. They do for all of us. Let's face it, we're human. You're no different in the human race from having this happen to you. 
But being in a sinking boat with others, sinking in the boat, does not mean it's a good place to be. So of course, while we've got people that are in the same situation, all humanity is in the same situation. If it was easy to break your habits and to move into your desired results, more people would do it. So what is it for the ones that actually do, actually break forward, make a difference, go forward, get competent, and then move forward to the other areas, which we'll discuss in other videos after that. They know that resistance is big at the beginning, but there's something that they understand about time. They understand that time is finite. They understand that there is no such thing as tomorrow. And at some point, something has triggered them enough to go, enough is enough, now is the time. I know that the first stage of this will just be the smallest shift forward, but you know what? That is going to show me what to do next. And as soon as I'm competent at this thing, then I can take another step into the next stage two, which we'll discuss later. So are you competent in what you do? Do you need to look at another stage? Are you so comfortable that you actually are holding yourself back? Because that's an important point to consider as well. But if not, come on, it's time. You can get competent, you can. You don't have to have variable results. You can be consistent and competent at that first stage rung of the ladder. So turn the dial, move it that one degree and watch what happens when you do.